Greetings, Flesh Wound Horror Freaks, and welcome to a brand new episode of Flesh Wound Horror. I am Daniel Shine, joined by producer Todd Loya. What's up? Bugs Dread. Namaste. And Mike Kruger. What's up, you sick motherfuckers? Uh, so, today we are going to be reviewing a uh, Brazilian horror film, uh, particularly gory one, called Skull the Mask from co-directors Armando Fonseca and Kapal Furman. Uh, and we'll get right into it for you guys. Uh, so, in the year 1944, an artifact is used as a military experiment. The artifact is the mask of Ahanga, the executioner of Tuan Supe, a pre Columbian god. Uh, the experience fails. Nowadays, the mask arrives at San Paulo. The mask possesses a body and starts to commit visceral sacrifices of vengeance for the incarnation of its god, initiating a bloodbath. The policewoman, Beatrice Odias, is in charge of the crimes, challenging her beliefs. A a true mystical slasher film from the city of San Paulo. Uh, All right. Uh, So, uh, Kruger... Obviously, you're going to want to go first on this one. <laughs> what did you think? Did it live up to uh, our own Masked Maniac? Well, I've been anticipating this movie for a while. I heard about it last year, and uh, I was really excited when I saw that Shudder was finally going to get it. And this had like a total Tarantino, Robert Rodriguez, grindhouse feel to it, I thought, especially in like some of the ways of the cinematography. And fuck, that was just rad as hell to have a slasher uh, done in that way. Uh, this had like a really sick synth style score uh, that, you know, totally threw you back to like the 80 slasher flicks that we all know and love. And it definitely added uh, to the atmosphere of the movie and complemented multiple scenes. Uh, The fights, we get a lot of fight sequences in this, and they're very pro wrestling esque with the choreography. (laughs) And I absolutely fucking love that. Uh, Especially when we saw Ananga fucking chokeslam and powerbomb some motherfuckers. Like, (laughs) that was amazing. Um, The practical effects in this movie are fan fucking tastic. Uh, There's a plethora of brutal Jason Voorhees style kill sequences with like Evil Dead style buckets of blood. Uh, and just as a Gorn Hound and a Slasher fan, this is just a wet dream. Uh, an- the Ananga mask is just so fucking cool. It's basically like its own character. And I liked how like it kind of would sprout le- legs sometimes. Like It almost looked like something out of like a Carpenter's The Thing. Uh, and like the way it p- attacked and possessed souls. Uh, and it did like this vine tentacle thing when it possessed a person that had like the Ananga killer shoot out its fucking machete like a goddamn scorpion spear from Mortal Kombat. Yeah. Uh, that was fucking amazing. Um, and just like so many awesome badass kills with that thing too. Um, they also like there is these scenes where like when the Ananga mask was possessing somebody, you'd be taken to this whole other world. Um, and like it kind of like got into like some cosmic horror elements and uh i i just and like it added to the lore of the character and you start to learn like you know there's this demon behind this thing and it's just really cool so needless to say fucking adored every second of this movie uh to be honest with you this the story is very uh, similar to like the vision i had for my pro wrestling character when i was a pro wrestler um like I had the same kind of idea that the mask is possessing me, blah, blah, blah. And uh, it, that, so like that alone, I'm going to hold this movie pretty close to my heart for a while. And I a hundred percent think this movie needs to spawn a franchise and we need sequels to this fucking, we really, really do. I want to see more of Ananga and just the crazy world that, you know, we got brought into. So yeah, definitely got my stamp of approval as one of my favorite movies I've seen all fucking year. Nice. Yeah, it, it definitely delivers for the gore <laughs> hounds. Um, I, I'm particularly fond of Kill. We've had a lot of similar ones recently where it's, I kind of call it the Pez dispenser kill, where your head's not totally ripped off. It's just holding on and you get the. Yeah. Uh, so they, they did that here. Uh, during a, a, a rave scene, there is yes. shit ton of bodies being ripped apart. Uh, I, I highly recommend this one for 
uh, fans of, of Hatchet and those uh, over the top style kills. Um, obviously, a different tone because we're getting this from Brazil, so it's got its own distinct Brazilian flavor uh, to it. Um, is this is this uh, particular slasher going to be iconic, like a Victor Crowley, or uh, maybe to a lesser extent, sadly, uh, Chrome Skull? I don't know about that yet. Uh, I, I don't know. If Definitely I got, like, Chrome that. Skull. Yeah, I, well, Chrome Skull, though, kind of got more personality across for me. Um, mm-hmm. uh, again, I, I really enjoyed this movie. It is exactly as advertised, and it delivers uh, quite a bit. I also, and you had uh, touched on it, but I, I really did like sort of the, the trippy uh hellscape that they kind of show uh i thought some of that imagery was really cool and i i wasn't necessarily expecting it i i really thought this was just just gonna be you know and and the cgi was well done too like in those scenes i was really impressed with it because you know this obviously was like a low budget movie but the cgi was top notch yeah no it doesn't look cheap i didn't have any issues some of the characters maybe a little flat but it's a slasher i mean you can yeah. make that yeah, case for, uh <laughs> yeah you can make that case for some of the greats so that's not really a much of a, a, and, a complaint and i don't know if they're bland because of the translation or what too so i didn't really you know not reach. all of them but no yeah. I'm, I'm just saying i wonder if that's part it of the issue be. yeah um, I should say, watch this. Uh, I watch this dubbed. I don't know it or not. I not dubbed. I watch this subtitled. I don't know if there's going to be a dubbed version. Shutter, I shutter. Stay away from that, though. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well. I we co-sign that. I don't yeah. like dubbed. Um, anyway, yeah. what did what did you think, <laughs> Pugs? Big fan. I like this movie a lot. Um, mm-hmm. Like the the what's his name? Ananga. 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 And I'm just fucking hard. Like he <laughs> just looks fucking amazing. He's got a skull. There's fucking tentacles coming out. He's big and beefy. And he just, uh, that fucking Pez kill that Dan's talking about. Is fucking amazing. Uh, um, the intestine choking too. A lot of greatest hits. <laughs> dude. Like, and the, and the movie just looks awesome. It looks older than it should be. So uh, for me, I'm, I don't know. It's a perfect movie, but this is, this put a smile on my face the entire fucking time. Except that cop, I do not like her. <laughs> she got on my nerves. <laughs> but I think I was rooting for the bad guy to begin with, anyway. So whatever. Fucking Anaga, you're you're my buddy. I like it. <laughs> Bloody as fuck. <laughs> like like go yeah. in there and ha- and wear a fucking raincoat because you're gonna get splashed on. Yeah, Evil Dead. Like like I said, like Evil Dead levels of kill like gore when somebody's head's hawked off. There's fucking everybody's covered. I loved it. And I want sequels too. And I also want the fucking Naga versus Kru- Michael Kruger story. So it'd be amazing. <laughs> yeah, no, it's so great to see more great foreign horror. It was a great 2020. Was a fantastic year. Hopefully, we're off to a good one in uh, 2021. Uh, Todd, what did you think of Skull the Mask? Yeah, I, I loved it too. I mean, the yeah, the things Dan pointed out are true, but I mean the the kills and everything with Anaga made up for every, all of its shortcomings in my opinion. Yeah. Um, plot didn't need to be super in depth. It gave us what we wanted. I fucking loved it. A little bit of shaky cam too, once in a while that I could have done without, but, uh, never bothers bother me. me yeah. yeah. Uh, no, definitely. I, I mean, again, and I hope they expand upon this. I would definitely not mind a sequel at all. Um, I, you know, before, I, I was going to say fucking, uh, this this amount of gore and violence is how Jim Carrey's The Mask is actually in the comic. So if they want to do something like that with this, I'm in. <laughs> so I'm not familiar with that comic, but uh, in the Jim Carrey's The Mask comic, he like chokes out a well, girl the, with intestines. The comic before uh, the comic before the movie, like when uh-huh. he takes a big mallet and he hammers a person, that person goes splat. Oh, okay. Like, I've never like, read. I'm not familiar oh, dude, with that. You should check it out. It is. It is. It's. It's. It's still funny, but it's fucked up. Like I. I dig it. All the cartoon violence is brought to life, and and, and like that's what I'm saying. Like all when when Jim Carrey would rip, like he would actually turn that person into a Pez dispenser and rip his fucking head off and probably eat something out of it. <laughs> now know? I want to see that adaptation. Well, so do I. <laughs> 
You know there was an R-rated cut of that movie too, right? It's, it's still not that. <laughs> no, I know it's yeah. not. But there, there was an R-rated cut at least. <laughs> so they toned it down, and then the studio made him tone it down again. <laughs> yeah, they made it kid friendly, which worked for the time. But now that I'm an adult, uh, take some notes from uh, fucking Skull the Mask here, and let's let's get these going. These worlds colliding. Yeah, Ananga no. fucking definitely like the ultra violent version of the mask. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah, definitely. Sign. If you're like a fan of an Andreas Schnoss, but with more budget, uh, you'll enjoy a lot of these kills, like the face being chopped in half, and uh, there was there was a lot. There's there's too many to even. We'd be here all day. Yeah, that whole nightclub scene, man, alone is just like if you ever like. I mean, I guess we got it a little bit with Freddy versus Jason, but like, you ever just want to see fucking Jason just mow through a bunch of kids in the middle of a fucking club? You we you get that basically in this movie because Anaga is very Jason inspired. Did you yeah. notice the shapes so, in the club? More triangle horror. I fucking love that shit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, dude, uh, what about that scene with the church? Like the church scene mm-hmm. when they're fighting. Oh my god, the imagery of that was fucking amazing. Okay, so, I want to real quick, Dan. I want a crucifix oh, that has fucking Jesus limbs as weapons because that's just fucking amazing. <laughs> I might you know, make it happen. <laughs> you know, uh, you make a good point though when you uh, when you mentioned Friday the Thirteenth. You know what? We're you're never gonna at least in theaters. You're never gonna really see this level from Jason Voorhees at this point. Is it maybe time we, like, you know, we've always got the Friday the 13th movies. They're special to all of us. But maybe make way for some new slashers to really get big. And, you know, we get to see, you I, know. I, I honestly think that Ananga has the potential. I think, especially this being on Shudder, there's going to be a lot of fucking people that are hardcore, like me, hardcore Friday the 13th fans that have always wanted to see something like to this level of brutality. And I, I think it definitely, definitely it, it quenched my bloodthirst um, 100%. Also, the Latinx people, including myself, uh, we're going to back this guy because he's fun cool. Now we got one. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, no, definitely. Uh, so yeah, guys. Uh, once uh, once it's up on Shutter, make sure you don't miss it. Um, Why don't we rate it? Yeah. Well, I was going to uh, show this out too, real quick before we do that. I know yeah. everyone's kind of shit on on the dubbed version. I I hope Shutter does have one because I think that'll get more eyes on it. Yeah. No, I'm fine with it. As long if it if it gets more people to watch this movie, fucking yeah. by all means. Uh, but I'll I'll stick with my subtitles. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And that's the thing. Like I don't, I like I'll watch Godzilla and stuff dubbed, but I don't, I don't, I know some people won't read subtitles, which it is so what it is. But I have a friend yeah. that won't won't watch foreign movies at all, even if they're speaking English. She she just can't handle the accents. <laughs> like you're a xenophobe, but that's cool. It, it's sad. <laughs> Because there's so much interesting stuff mm-hmm. coming out of Indonesia, India, all <laughs> Turkey, all over the place. This bitch had the nerve to tell me, well, you'll just tell me the story, right? I'm like, well, fuck, I guess. <laughs> I'm start making shit up, though. <laughs> all, all right. right sorry. Right, yeah, let, let's well, go ahead and rate it. Kruger, I'm going to let you start. What are you giving it? Well, Skull the Mask, a.k.a. A Massacre de Ananga, five out of five for me. Fucking... I'm- love this goddamn movie and it's it's up there with psycho gore man is some of my favorite i've seen all year nice uh, i am a four and a half i want to give it a five but i think with the sequels it'll get there um i'm with plugs on this one um i'm a four and a half also i think there's room to grow and i think a sequel could knock it out of the park yeah, I mean, it's fantastic. If you're the target audience and you're a gore hound, I give it four and a half as well. It's not not quite perfect, but I definitely want to see yeah. more. It's exactly. almost there. I think if it had a little more comedy, like, because, like, I do want that element in there because Friday the 13th has the moments. This one didn't have many of those moments for me, but, um, yeah, I still fucking love it, though. High recommendation, ma'am. I expected a little more skin, too, considering how hardcore this was going on the gore. Where are my Brazilian butts? <laughs> there you go. So, skull the mask too. You'll you'll earn that five from the, from 
the rest of us. Uh, so, all right, guys, be sure to like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell on YouTube. That really helps us out, and we appreciate it. Uh, also, fleshwoundfeatures.com, as always. Patreon.com slash fleshwoundfeatures, uh, where uh, we have... It all starts at just a buck, and we have early uncensored and all kinds of different content on on there more coming uh, every day so check that out i think we give you your money's worth and uh you also get an early look at our teespring store because some of these shirts including the ilf uh shirt uh do not last long we're not keeping them up forever so if you want them you want to buy them and for our audio listeners that is teespring.com uh sl uh uh, slash stores slash flesh dash wound dash features. I'm going to make it easy. Just search flesh wound features on uh, teespring.com. That's what I wanted to do, but I was being specific. I uh, know. I, uh, <laughs> I was just making it easier. So there um, you go. yeah, we'll have the link on the website. I got to get, the, get on that. So yes. Um, For a visual people, you want to give them a shot of the shirt real quick or some of the shirts. Thank you. Cause I already forgot to show the graphics. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there we go. There's some of the shirts. You can't see it's only a flesh wound, but but that's there, there too. It's available, and then it's a perfect fucking Mother's Day gift with Mother's Day it's just around the corner. You have time to order it now. Hopefully, it'll be there in time, and then you can rock it proudly. There you go. All right. Well, on that on that, I think we're uh, gonna call this one a wrap. Right. So, pugs. So follow us across all the social media bullshits. Uh, like, like, share, subscribe, like Dan said, and uh, we'll see you people later. Dan? Good night, good and tag. Who are you calling you people? <laughs> oh, hell, Anaga. I'll see you in Disneyland. <laughs>